few rocks, and a hole. We need to crack this lip open and get deep. I'm getting into hard clay. Yes, at 14 inches. Well, hey everybody, welcome to today. 90 degrees in New Hampshire and feeling good. Horse flies are off the hook today. Constantly being barred. that's really the only discomfort. So, today's objective is I am out in what you know, I refer to as a choked off piece of land, meaning, you know, development, roads out here, whatever. But to get here, I had to traverse around swamp and other stuff uh, because I was out here a few years ago and there's one of those isolated squares, a small field in the middle of nowhere with nothing else around it. So I've returned this time with my detector because before I was just hiking, see what's out there and maybe find a home site. Maybe find nothing, but either way, we're gonna do it. Essentially, we walk about a mile or so through a whole bunch of this until we get to the square. I love these kind of sights. No kidding, right after that clip, my eye spotted something that it did not three years ago. A few rocks and a hole. Let's give it a test. Got some iron. Wow, it's amazing how differently you look at things when you put some time in between. Like I said, it was probably three years ago I went through here. And by the path I just took, 60 feet. Pretty sure this is a cellar hole. 3940. chunk of pewter so that gives me the assumption we're on old ground here so far just a five minute swing quiet iron floor is very quiet but it's been logged probably I don't know in the last few decades there's actually tons of logs and stuff down around all over the cellar hole so that's gonna make the conditions a little bit tougher than usual but then again, most of our sites are logged. Hopefully that's not a rifle casing. We are in a hunting zone. Oh, in a root zone. Well, we got the rim of a bean pot. So we're on to some relics. Looks like roof flashing. Sounded like roof flashing. Same exact signal as the last. Oh! We have a cuff link. That's why the numbers would be in that 46 range. Awesome. Well, you guys know me, I'm easy. I just wanna find the sights and give me one relic and I'm happy. So, everything from here on out is a bonus. Nice, well I came over by my bag to get a drink. 53 to 55, right where I started. Pewter again. I was almost going to say part of a shoe buckle, but it gets very thin down here. I think it's a spoon handle. Good. Well, there are some things here, but like I said, it's quiet. Well, there's no doubt it's a cellar hole. It's completely lipped. It's got a footprint. It is rock lined, but a lot of it's caved in. If you guys have been watching a lot of these early settler sites, are quiet like this and pewter tends to show up. Uh, we're talking early 1700s, very early for this part of New Hampshire. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mingle around a little bit, head up to that field, 
so I can show it to you guys and see if we pick up any sounds. So when you get up in here, it's quite a difference between improved flat ground to out there. And I've showed you this before, the soil up here is higher than down there. And they were definitely farming on this side. This is why it puzzled me a few years ago. It's way out in the middle of nowhere. Now it makes sense. I'm back at the cellar hole, by the way. Up in that field, shotgun shells. Shotgun shells and nothing more. Which is rather sad and odd. Thought I would have found something up there. This ought to be curious, though. Even if it's a chunk of iron, we need to crack this lip open and get deep. Oh, a nail? Nothing. Yes! Wow! Pewter button at 14 inches. Amazing. Well, that's a good test of all metal mode, huh? And there weren't even any numbers on the screen. Complete with shank, which is always a plus on a pewter button. Wow, that was amazing. I really gotta say. And under all them rocks. Well, that's it. I've done all that I can do. I just swung in all metal mode and disc one for quite a while. There we go. Animal relic, oxen shoe. And that's it. But you know what? We're learning these sites that are early 1700s as opposed to late 1700s in our area, there's a lot of similarities. One, the iron floor is very quiet. A little patch here and there. Two, no wells. We've worked a lot of sites even just this year. Same setups. Can't find a well. Three, no barn. Four, generally one or two small squares in the five acre range. The items we pull out tend to be pewter and they're very deep. So there's something Something about that 50 year difference. I don't know what it is. You wouldn't think that things would sink that far, you know, below the norm, but it's textbook over and over. We're noticing it this year. So the point of today's video is go back to places you haven't been to in a while, because you might find something that you didn't see before and try different things. That pewter button was only because I went into all metal mode. I could do it here because it's so quiet. And uh, we'll just keep searching for more sites to put on the map. Awesome, another victory. We'll see you soon. Till next time, enjoy your not Thursday.